Hey guys, it's Savion Bias. And I'm Morgan Ludwig. Yeah, we're here with CHTV. And today uh, we're going to be starting a new series where we're going to go to the movie theaters and review newly released movies. So what are we watching today, Savion? Today we are watching Knives Out. New murder mystery movie that just came out, and I actually have already seen the yes. movie. And the first time I watched it, it was really good, but seeing as it's a murder mystery movie, you know, there's going to be some twists and stuff. So I feel like me watching it for the second time and Savion watching it for the first time is going to be a very different perspective. So... Let's jump right into it. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, we are back after seeing Knives Out. We are. That honestly has been one of my favorite movies of 2019 so far. The first time I saw it was, it was like the weekend it came out, and I was just so surprised by, I was pleasantly surprised by how good it was. But it's definitely a movie, in my opinion, that you need to see two times. Yeah? Because the second yeah. viewing was equally as enjoyable as the first, if not more enjoyable, but for a completely different reason. Because this was your second time, right? Yes. So, and obviously this is like a mystery. Yeah, so and like, there's so many plot twists. Yeah. So many. For sure, for sure. It's like every time you feel like you know what's going on, it comes back at you and throws in your face that, no, you actually have no idea what's going on. Here's what's actually going on. I think it's too, this film is shot so well. It really is. You see this it's in like gorgeous. a lot of the director's film. We'll get to that in a second. But like it's shot so, there's so many, like first of all, it just looks really clean. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. The the house that they're in is just like it's full. It's, it's gorgeous. So, yeah, it yeah it's so awesome. Good. The set design was amazing. Yeah. The, the mansion was so well like furnished in a way and yeah. there were so many little cool props that made it feel like made the setting feel really like like authentic right props to like the set designers and the writers yeah that able for to, like, sure make this speaking of so writer good. you have writers speaking and directors of writer the first time i watched this when the credits rolled it said it was written and directed by ryan johnson and the name i remembered the name and when i looked it up i realized that ryan johnson's the guy who wrote and directed the second Star Wars? Star Wars: The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi, the, which yeah. everyone agrees is the most horrific. Unanimously, it is terrible. It's like terrible. No one disagrees. It with is that. a terrible, terrible movie, and it is a terrible, terrible Star Wars movie. I don't understand how he went from that to something with so much, so many layers and so many levels of detail. So well written. So yeah. it really well written. Some of the lines were just pure gold, and it was really funny too. It's, that a, was, it's a very yes, this film had a good balance of humor mm -hmm. and like tension and like suspense. Obviously, for like a murder mystery, you gotta have that. Yeah, for sure. Engaging, uh, and this film was engaging. And the score too. I was yeah. gonna talk about the, yeah. the film score. It's not like things you've heard a lot mm -hmm. these days, especially. It it works. It really worked for me. The score and the set design makes it feel like you're in like the 1800s in a grand castle. Yeah, yeah, it was. Very well scored. Yeah, so final thoughts, Savion? Final thoughts. Uh, are we gonna... Yeah. Oh, I, I, we didn't really think this out. Are we, we gonna give it like out. a... Like, like a, a rating? Out of 10? Or like a... Okay, I give Let, let's, a letter let's grade? Give it, let's give it a letter grade. Letter grade. For me, I'm gonna go first yeah. because I'm gonna have two different letter grades. I'm gonna have one for first viewing and one for the second time going through. Because mm -hmm. like I said, I feel like this movie is completely different first time versus second time watching it. First time watching it, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it a A- minus first time watching it because it was really, really good. But second time... Completely different movie. I'm gonna give it an A plus because Man. I know it I know it elevates on a second viewing. It elevates on a second viewing. Wow. Yeah. yeah, A minus first time watching it. A plus a second plus. time watching it. One wow. of my favorite movies of the year so far. What about you? Sandra? I would say yeah, this is a really good film. I would definitely leave it in the A area. Probably I'll just give it a solid A. Yeah. A plus, a, a flat. Yeah, gotta go see it. Knives out. Go see it. All right. We'll see you next time. Uh, uh, next time we're probably gonna be reviewing 1917. 1917. So yeah. stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, this has been Morgan Ludwig. Savion Bias. Signing off for our first movie review. See you guys in the next one.